that book is great to hear mention of another coal mining family. That's great. So thank you. Um, I want to start off by thanking our three county parties. You know, over the last year, I have had the honor of working with Mercer County, with Dark County, with All Glaze County on getting this campaign rolling. And we are not supporting strong unions. Not just something I say because it's the right democratic message, but because I'm the wife of a union worker. Mm -hmm. And I know that the best way to pull a family out of poverty is a good union job. Yes. And finally, on this, I want to talk about, you know, reducing the tax burden on our poor and our middle class families. You may not know that our representatives have slimlined your tax codes. Did you feel all the benefit from it? No, you didn't. <laughs> um, if you are, unless you have a Maserati sitting out there, you probably did not feel the benefit because their tax simplification lowered the tax rate on the people at the very top, people at the very bottom, didn't do anything for and the people in the middle it actually raised your taxes a few bucks mm -hmm. so that's what they're focused on and finally i want to talk about comprehensive housing reform ohio ranks as one of the most landlord friendly states in the united states it also ranks as the least renter friendly state in the united states because we don't have the proper protections in place we don't have things set up. We've got out-of-state housing corporations that come in and buy up the available starter homes that people would otherwise be starting out their families with, and then they turn them into high-priced rentals, usually with what, no offense to any landlords, but what would normally be called the landlord special upgrade. In other words, it falls apart five minutes after you get in it. We want to make sure that we're dealing with those issues so that we're supporting Ohio families and they have the opportunity to get that first home to get set up for success. So as you can see, we both, both myself and my opponent, claim to a family values platform. Her family values platform, platform is focused on division. It's fo focused on culture war battles. And it's focused on who she can hurt rather than who she can help. But we know that no child ever gets a nutritious meal because of an abortion ban. We know that no mother or father ever got a better paying job because of a drag ban. <laughs> we know that no electric bill or cost of medication was ever reduced because of a trans bathroom ban. That's right. See, they try to create a boogeyman out of somebody because they can create all sorts of boogeymen, but the one thing they can't do is create policy that actually serves the people of the state. Yeah. So I'm going to throw one dig in here that happened very recently. So very recently, my opponent sponsored a campaign gimmick with Americans for Prosperity. She lowered the cost of gas at one gas station for two hours. <laughs> now, yeah, I know, it was amazing. We got gas, and she used the photo of me with my campaign logo on the side of it. We're like, we're going to use it. My husband happily slapped it off. Uh, but let me tell you, the day before that, when my opponent was having this planned out, what I was doing was I was in Columbus. I, not even elected to office, was having a meeting with the Coalition on Homelessness and Housing in Ohio to get information to work sure. towards a housing reform package. So she worked on gimmicks to give you two hours of cheap gas. I was in there trying to solve the issues that face our district yes. without even being elected. Because I said, if elected, I'm going to get this passed. I'm going to take that back. Because whether I'm elected or not, we're going to get this damn bill passed. Yeah, we are. So I'm actually going to end here because I can be long-winded. I'm a former minister, so I can go on. Uh, but I just wanted to end with this. I know in the rural districts, it is so 
easy to lose hope. Because we see people time after time, we put up good candidates, and we don't necessarily get the return we want. This, guys, is not a single battle. This is a long-term strategy. So we've got to be prepared to continue to move, to continue to move the margin. And I can promise you, I am fighting to win in this, but I'm not going anywhere regardless. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right, right. So I'll go on I want to leave you with when you're feeling depressed about how hard it can be in this region. He said, change is never easy, but always possible. Each step forward may be small, but it's movement in the right direction. That's right. If you want to pick up one of these, we have these made. Oh, yeah, we do. Ohio kind of uh, yes, I went that detail. It's the exact same font as a certain president who shall not, former president who shall not be named. And uh, more importantly than that, I do like to get a little joke out of the fact that his is MAGA. And I'm supposed to be the big bad liberal, and mine's mocha. <laughs> <laughs> but it's more than just a little play on, on MAGA. It's also that this really is what this campaign is about. We goof, we have fun, but at the end of the day, it is about making Ohio kind again. Kind for all Ohio families. That's right. Thank you very much.